It's been so long. Hello YouTube! Oh my gosh, it's been forever. Today I have a video that I'm filming for the first time in a long time. I have a mukbang q and I went to my nearest donut shop and I got me a sandwich and some donuts and then it's already melted but I also got a caramel little blended smoothie. I have my beautiful sister right here who is going to ask me questions. She's not even be in the video, but you guys are gonna hear her voice. Hello. Pretty, <laughs> pretty much asking me questions about myself. To not like have her not like as a complete stranger in my video, her name is Kim. Um, and yeah, Kimberly Kim. So Hello. I guess we can get started. Let me show you guys what I got. This is for my sister. I got her a regular glazed donut and then a dozen donut holes. And then I got myself a dozen donut holes as well and a twisted sugar glazed donut. Not glazed, but sugar donut. And then a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. Start with your name and age. My name is Destiny. I go by Tiny or Destiny. And I am 20 years old, about to be 21 in June. You know what's about to happen when you turn 21, you turn up. <laughs> Two shots of vodka. How many siblings do you have? Two. So, yes, I have two sisters, three girls in my family. Um, Kim Hello. and Jenny. Yeah. What is your zodiac sign? Mm. My sun sign is a Gemini. <laughs> That's suspicious. My moon is an Aquarius. My rising is a Libra. Period. I'm an airhead. As you can tell, all three signs, all three of my main signs are air signs. <laughs> Where were you born and raised? Born and raised? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I was raised here. <laughs> Fifth grade. So, I'm from California. Born in California. LA. In Las, in, born in Santa Monica, but grew up in, L in, not in LA. Grew up in like LA, South Bay area. I moved to Texas. <laughs> I'm sorry, if you're from Texas, that's your state, okay? You're gonna rep it, you're gonna rep it. It's whatever, that's you. I don't like Texas, okay? Don't get booty hurt, because I feel like Texas people get booty hurt so easily. Like, chill, it's okay. I moved to Texas in, like, preschool. Yeah, like, preschool. And then I lived out there pretty much since I was in fourth grade, until my fourth grade year. And then I moved back to Texas. I mean, my, back to California, my fifth grade year to my freshman year of high school. And then <laughs> from my sophomore year to my senior year, I was in Texas again. And then now I'm back in Cali. And I do not plan on moving back to Texas. If I move out of Cali, it's because I'm moving to another state. Yeah, not back to Texas. I would not go back to Texas. If I went back to Texas, it would be because like... I had to, yeah. But not because I want to. Because we want to. <laughs> yeah. What are some hobbies or things you like to do for fun? I like to drive. I really like to drive. I don't know why. I used to like to draw, but I haven't drawn in a long time. I like to write in my, in my journal, but I haven't done that in a long time. <laughs> you and Jenny just got into... Oh, called? crocheting. Crocheting is fun. I'm a very crafty person, so I like to do crafts. I like 
I, I, I guess crafts is a hobby that she I could say. She has not like me. <laughs> <laughs> I like to go to the beach. I love the beach. I like adventures. I'm a very outdoorsy person. I like hiking. I like doing stuff outdoors, picnics, stuff like that. Do you have any pets? I have pets. I have a, I have a cat, but he doesn't live with me. He lives with my boyfriend. But I do have a cat. And then we do have two hamsters. I'm going to show them real quick. <laughs> you can't even see them. It's not focusing, but they're in there. Two hamsters that look like me. They're not mine, though. They're my sister's. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, that's my nice dog. I forgot about my dog. <gasps> that's me. I'm going to tell them when I see them. I have three dogs. But they're in Texas, that's why. <laughs> it doesn't matter, they're still your dogs. I feel like I'm doing my food. I don't like playing on my mouth, but hold on. <laughs> um, okay, so I have two German Shepherds. Um, one's name is Scar. The other one's name is Mordu. Scar is a girl, Mordu is a boy. Scar and then, Shepherd started. Yeah. We named her um, based off the movie, right? Lion King? Yeah, the Lion King. Scar. And then Mordu is from the movie Brave, the evil um, bear. And then we have another dog, a little Pomeranian, little tiny little fluffy dog. And she's her an name, she's an old lady. I have known her since I was eight years old. We got her when I was eight. She's and 13. I'm 20. I'm about to be 21. So she's about to be 13 years old. Damn, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. And we named her... Um, off of the movie Beauty and the Beast. My favorite princess. She's Fun my fact. 15th present. Her sweet, yeah, her sweet 16. Her, her quinceanera present. Yes. Quinceanera. That's an interesting word to say. Quinceanera. <laughs> quinceanera. Quinceanera. Quinceanera, bitch. We all have quinceaneras. Where are your parents from? Mm. I like this question. We are from Mexico, bitch. <laughs> I'm a proud Mexican. Um, my mom's from Nayarit, Mexico. My dad's from Jalisco, Mexico. And all three of their daughters were born in California. Mm -hmm. If you could travel to any place in the world, where would your first stop be? Like the first place I would go? Mm -hmm. Australia. Why? Because Finding Nemo, ever since I was little. I would watch Finding Nemo all the time. And I don't know why, I just fell in love with those big... Australia? I don't know what those are. The Sydney little peaks. <laughs> I want to go see those because... I don't know, every time I watch the... Pete Sherman. Pete Sherman 42, why are we wasting here? <laughs> <laughs> P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. But yeah, Sydney in specific, I would want to go. Yeah, and every time I watch Finding Nemo, I just get this like nostalgic feeling where like, I'm just like, yes, I feel good. Um, yeah, if not Australia, I would go to Costa Rica because I really, really want to see a sloth in real life. Like, so bad. I have an obsession. About Obsession that. with sloths. Talking about that, sloth. what's your favorite animal? A sloth. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I am a sloth. Like, I am a sloth. Like, my soul is a sloth. <laughs> They're so slow. They love to eat. They love to sleep. They just, like, they have the cutest little faces and the big smile. And they just, like, move. Oh, so <laughs> I love them. <laughs> I love them so much. What is your favorite color? Mm. My favorite color is red. It's a very vibrant and like strong, passionate, seductive color. If you rubbed a magic lamp and a genie came out and said that he was going to grant you three wishes, what would be your three wishes? 
in this very moment in life, I would do to get my parents the dream life they want and the, the dream house in the dream house they want and like pretty much their dream life to see my grandpa who has passed at least one more time and to give me a successful business so I can be making income. You want to do world peace or environmental I can, <laughs> I can do that if I have some like good amount of income coming in I can help. But at the end of the day, everyone's going to have their own decision. If I wanted world peace, I would have to control everyone's minds to have world peace and to make right and good decisions. Because God gave everyone the free will to make the their own decisions. Will. He gave everyone free will, so I, I would have to be like, there's... I was still trying, but okay. <laughs> I don't know. If it's possible, yeah. If, if the genie was like, yeah, I can make that happen, then yeah, I would... I would. I'll do that. So the last and final question is one that's very important. And that is, what is your goal for YouTube? And what do you, what should your subscribers expect from your channel? Like mm. what videos and what content and what? What do you want the outcome for your YouTube to be? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> um, I was trying to not be down. That was funny. <laughs> um, I would just want, honestly, to make people happy. The best of my ability that I can through a camera, of course. I just love, like, seeing people laugh and enjoy life. So if I can make funny content, if I can be real and talk about stuff that I've gone through and hopefully help other people, if I can um, post vlogs and give people like advice on how to meal prep or make life easier, things that I do to clean, things that I do to cook, things that I do like everyday routine, like self uh, mental health awareness, self-care stuff, Things that are going to help people have a smoother life and also not only for others but also for myself because like I feel like YouTube is going to motivate me to make my life better I guess. Not that it's not that my life is bad but like it's going to help me like work out more so I can make a workout video or like meal prep more so I can make meal prep videos so it kind of will be a win-win situation. Um, I don't want to make my channel like gender only. Like I want anyone to watch my videos. But I want it to target mostly women who need like self-empowerment. Like if you're like feeling like with low self-esteem, you don't feel confident, this negative feelings and emotions i want to try to give advice and like help the best way that i can and i love tarot and this is thanks to this sister right here sitting in front of me <laughs> because she introduced me to tarot she i didn't even believe in tarot and when i first heard about it when she would first make um readings and watch readings and all that on youtube i would be like you believe in that <laughs> because of the fact that growing up we were a very like um religious not not now my mom my parents aren't that religious as they used to be but we used to be very religious household we used to be a very religious household so anything that was like spiritual tarot anything like that was like considered witchcraft and stuff so i didn't really believe in it but the more that i saw her watching it and the more that i started looking into it and watching it myself i got really invested in like i was like this is my like calling like this is this is like actually like I feel like this feels right more than a religion, you know. So I love tarot. As you can see, these two bookshelves in the background are literally full of cards. So I want to make card videos, card reading videos um, to give advice in any aspect of life. Like love, money, career, anything like that. And just help empower other humans. Where else can they find you besides YouTube? Um, on Instagram and TikTok. I will put my Instagram 
somewhere here on the screen if I can figure out how to make it look aesthetic <laughs> and if not it will be linked down below I am kind of getting back into the flow of things so I'm gonna be fingers crossed not fingers crossed I am going to be more consistent I'm, it's, it's gonna work out <laughs> okay just have patience and faith. and she just got a new camera so her settings might be a little bit weird so she has to do her research I'm going to figure out how to those settings and get the lights and all the great stuff that she needs <laughs> yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you haven't already subscribed subscribe. subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber i really appreciate you for still being Ooh. subscribed because i haven't posted in like ages so the fact that you're still Ooh. subscribed <laughs> the fact that you're still subscribed and watching this video right now means a lot to me so i really do appreciate that but if you are a new subscriber a new um subscriber a new viewer then welcome and i hope you like it i hope you like this video and if you're from tiktok what's up my tiktok family i'm gonna promote my youtube channel on there so if you came from tiktok love you i hope you guys enjoyed my links to my social medias are down below if you want to see what i'm up to and until next time i'll see you guys in my next video I'm gonna copy you. <laughs> Little sister things always copying the big sisters. <laughs> <laughs>